Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Danka Praktik. In this video we'll show you how to start, maintain and put out a fire in a wood burning stove. This is perhaps the most important thing to learn and know when using this type of stove. So stay tuned. Danka Praktik If you haven't watched our previous video about the basics of a wood burning stove, how it works, the basic controls and else, we would recommend that you take a look, especially if you don't have much previous experience using this kind of stove. Click on the link to take a look. When starting the fire, by all means avoid using any kind of gasoline, diesel, oil or else. Using this in a confined space like the firebox is, can cause serious burns to your hands. Best use just a lighter and kindle. Also, when starting and maintaining the fire, always watch your hands. If you're not comfortable or safe doing this with your bare hands, then best use some heat resistant protective gloves. Know also that once the stove is heated up, avoid touching any surfaces that aren't heat resistant. When starting the fire, first set the air vents. There is no good fire without a proper airflow. Without it, you'll have a much harder time starting the fire or won't start it at all. You'll get much more smoke and the fire will be smothered. In this case, the airflow is set by opening the ashtray door and the vent to the chimney. This way, the air goes from the outside, through the firebox, helps the fire burn and goes out of the stove through the chimney together with the smoke. This system is more or less the same on any stove or furnace you encounter, the difference is where the controls are and how they are used. If there's any ashes left, use the tools and clean the firebox. This is very important for achieving a better airflow. Check the ashtray also, if it's full, best empty it before starting the fire. Next, stack the kindle and wood inside the firebox. In this case, old paper and wood chips are used for kindle. You can buy prepared Kindle if you don't want to make any yourself. The main thing to know is that the Kindle should be dry and easy to set on fire. Instead of paper, you can use old cardboard or again buy products made specifically for this purpose. Also, don't stuff the firebox with the Kindle. Stack it so air can flow around it and let the fire start easier. Otherwise it will just smolder and turn into char. We would recommend from experience to crumple a few pieces of paper, put wood kindle above it and one smaller piece of wood on top of that. After this, light up the paper and kindle and wait for a couple of seconds to see if the fire has started. When lighting, watch your hands. With this stove, there is a small door on the bottom of the firebox made for this purpose. But you can also light the fire directly in the firebox. Best use a longer lighter or like in this case, fold some paper, light it up and then start the fire. Once the fire is burning, close the firebox door. So, now that the fire is burning, you have to keep it going. Again, the key elements are regulating the airflow and of course adding wood. Regarding the firewood, once the fire is burning properly, add another bigger piece of wood so it can keep on burning. After that, regulate the airflow. In this case, first close the vent to the chimney and after that the ashtray door. Further air intake control should be regulated through the vent on the ashtray door. And that's it. Further maintaining of the fire depends on how much wood you add and in what intervals. If you need more heat for heating or cooking, add more firewood more frequently. For less heat, add less wood and not that often. If you need more heat instantaneously, then you can additionally open the air vent to maximum to get a better flame. 
When you don't want to use the stove anymore, you'll naturally want to put out the fire. The best and perhaps only proper way to do this is to let the fire burn out on its own. Simply just stop adding wood and close the air vents. But know that the stove will be hot or warm for the next couple of hours even without any fire in it. These stoves are made this way to emit heat as long as possible and be fuel efficient as much as possible. Any kind of violent try to put out the fire, like with water for instance, can seriously damage the firebox bricks, bottom grill or even the working surface. So the only proper way to put out the fire in a stove like this is to plan ahead, stop adding wood, close the vents and wait until the fire burns out naturally. For the end, one more tip. When starting the fire, have in mind the weather. Foggy, rainy, misty, windy or warm weather will make starting the fire a bit more difficult. If the fire won't start easily, you should consider this first. In our next video, we'll be showing you how to prepare kindle and firewood and why it's very important to do so. So that's it for this time. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.